Good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today I'll teach you how to use the 3D rotation tool as well as uh, the 3D translation tool in Adobe Flash CS5. Guys, uh, this is a banner that I've created in Adobe Fireworks. I am a trainer for Dreamviewer Flash and Fireworks CS5. And uh, ActionScript 2, yes, I forgot that. I do train guys uh, in all these subjects, Adobe subjects. So uh, today I'm going to take you through first the 3D rotation tool and then the translation tool. So what I've done is I've selected this banner, it's actually a movie clip and um, guys if you don't know how to convert uh, a JPEG or a PNG image to a, to a movie clip uh, you could check some uh, basic flash tutorial. I will not be covering that up uh, here. Okay, the next thing uh, that I'm going to do is I'll click on um, frame number 60, right click and say insert frame and then I'll click anywhere between frame number 1 and 60 and I'm gonna say uh, create motion tween. Uh, I'm getting a warning that multiple subjects are uh, s uh, selected, I don't want that. I'm gonna make sure that only the banner is selected and then I'm gonna say create motion tween okay guys let me just scrub the the playhead nothing happens nothing at all happens now I'm gonna make sure that uh, my uh, the playhead is resting on the 60th frame now I'm gonna use the 3d uh, rotation and uh, as well as the uh, 3d translation tool okay so keeping the playhead this uh, red structure on the 60th frame I'm gonna select the banner which is actually a movie clip and then I'm going to select uh, from the toolbar the 3D rotation tool and uh, guys notice the moment I select that something will happen uh, this uh, some kind of uh, uh, a graphic will appear on the banner okay now if you notice this uh, banner carefully it has a, a perpendicular a straight uh, a red line and a horizontal green line vertical red and a, a horizontal green line it also has a round blue line and uh, outside that blue line it has this uh, orangish line as well guys please excuse the uh, the background sound uh, there's a lot of disturbance I understand there's a lot of traffic outside I can't help it really it's 7 50 p.m. very busy right now in Mumbai that's where I'm situated in India okay guys so uh, let's get back to the subject just weird off from uh, my subject now okay now let's start using the 3d perspective tool guys notice that uh, the perspective angle is best left at 55 if you notice in the properties inspector it's at 55 it's best left to 55 we'll see what will happen if I change this 55 to a different value let's say if I double it to 110 uh, the it becomes a little more dramatic but ideally it's, it's bet best uh, kept to 55 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch hold of this uh, green line okay and I'm gonna rotate it like so okay and I've, I've done a semicircle a small semicircle here and notice guys what's happened I'm gonna go back now If you notice uh, when I click on the green line it actually is controlling the y-axis and now I'm gonna go the other way and now I'm gonna go back so guys this is how you actually uh, control the uh, the y-axis or the y-value okay I've done a complete uh, semicircle and I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard to show you exactly what I've created I had uh, drawn 60 frames on the the timeline that is uh, basically going to make the animation pretty smooth okay and now I'm gonna reset it back so guys this is the way it was uh, to start with now this time instead of uh, touching the green line I'm gonna handle the or manhandle the 
red line which uh, controls uh, objects around the x axis and now i'm going to do a, a semicircle or a semicircle okay notice what is happening i'm going back okay and again i've i've, uh, I've done a semicircle and uh, i have done around 270 degrees guys and uh, then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to show you what exactly I've done. Nice 60 frames to cover guys. I think the animation is a bit slow. Let's uh, get it back to mm, around 48. That will animate the object in around uh, 2 seconds let me get this timeline here uh, I don't want these extra frames I'm gonna remove the frames okay uh, let me test it again now since I've decreased the the timeline to 48 frames the animation is a little faster okay cool let me reset it back to uh, square one so guys this is the way I started off okay now that uh, we have understood how to control the X and the Y axis let me also uh, flirt around with the the Z axis and I I'm clicking on that blue circle which is inside the orange circle and I'm gonna take a small circle now see guys it's it's uh, rotating like a fan now like a fan blade mm, nice whirlpool okay I'm gonna say control Z now what about about this uh, orangish line or the orange line what happens if I, I I click on this line and go around well guys this orange stuff or this orange line actually controls all the x y and z values I can alter all the x y and z values through this uh, orange line okay uh, but I would uh, say rather work with the other three lines the the green the red and the blue lines to work more accurately okay let me show you a, a, a preview of what I've just created I'm hitting enter on the keyboard so uh, using the outer circle which is the orangish line I can control uh, the the z y and the x uh, you know the rot rotation around all these three axes cool i'm going to reset it to back to square one so this is the way it was earlier guys notice what will happen if i take this white a uh, small circle right inside and let's say i drop it somewhere um, here uh, to the left of the banner and now if I actually rotate it around the x-axis notice guys it's taking that small white circle as the point around which it rotates the object or the banner or the movie clip see that guys okay let me reset it back to the right hand side this time and the right hand side corner and let's say I click on the red line which is going to rotate the object around the x-axis okay so it takes the white point as the point around which it should go around like the axis let me reset everything back okay guys so uh, coming back to the perspective angle and I said uh, it's a good idea to keep it at 55 uh, let me show you once again if I keep it at 55 and rotate it al along the x-axis how does it look now uh, I'm gonna set 55 to 110 I'm gonna make it just double and then I'm gonna perform the same action which is uh, rotating the object around the x-axis and notice guys it's more pronounced it's more pronounced two of the corners kind of shrink and two of the co corners kind of uh, blow up expand stretch enlarge see 
uh, the two corners which are really further away from us have kind of shrunk and the two corners which are very close to us have uh, have you know have stretched a lot let me do a control Z and get you back to uh, the way we were originally now I'm gonna set it back to 55 I'm gonna perform the same action now guys if you notice uh, the rotation around the y-axis is not so pronounced so guys this uh, perspective angle which was 55 is best left to 55 unless and until you want something really histrionic dramatic mm, blown out of proportions I, I would rather keep it at 55 see it's at 55 and yep that's better okay cool uh, guys now notice uh, there are two values here which are for the vanishing point now what is vanishing point what is the importance of vanishing point uh, X is set to 275 and uh, Y is set to uh, 200 guys notice that if I click on the Y vanishing point position and change it there is a, a, a gray colored ruler or a gray colored line that is going across the screen I'm not so sure you can actually see it very clearly because the stage is uh, gray as well let me do one thing let me change the color of the stage to uh, let's say um, a white then probably you'll be able to see it, see it much better now I should be yep yeah, I'm taking the vanishing point uh, towards the bottom of the stage uh, as well as I'm moving the X position too and uh, okay so uh, now guys uh, the vanishing point is somewhere here okay now if I go to 3d position and view and change the Z if I if I click on the Z value which is set to 0 right now and if I move it you'll notice that the banner starts to disappear towards the vanishing point which is somewhere uh, somewhere here guys somewhere here okay so it tends to move towards the vanishing point let me do a uh, let me hit enter or a control enter to show you a published preview so guys if you notice the banner is uh, becoming uh, smaller and is tending towards the vanishing point okay that's very cool uh, I'm gonna reset it back to how it was originally back to square one guys and uh, notice just uh, below the 3d rotation tool guys we have the 3d translation tool the shortcut key for which is a GG for gun and uh, the moment I select the 3d translation tool guys notice a small graphic appears it has a green line which indicates the Y value and uh, the red uh, arrow not a green line it was a green arrow and a, a red arrow which indicates the which can change the X value or the X position and you also have a black dot which can alter the Z position so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first uh, alter the X position like so the Y position like so and then let me change the Z position so it's like uh, a zoom in or a zoom out guys okay again uh, this has to tend towards the uh, vanishing point and uh, let me hit enter on my keyboard to show you what I've just created it's tending towards the vanishing point guys guys uh, the vanishing point can be very quickly reset with the help of this reset button okay it's it's uh, been reset back to 275 and uh, 200 the way it was earlier okay very very cool guys also notice if I click anywhere between uh, frame number one and frame number 60 I get a few more options here uh, to rotate the banner or the object if I say rotate let's say two times okay and then hit enter 
uh, let's say a control enter see what happens so uh, in running from uh, point A to point B which is frame 1 to point uh, B which is uh, frame 60 it does two rotations which is uh, 360 degrees plus 360 degrees and if I want to add uh, let's say 360 plus 360 equals 720 if I want to make 740 I just need to add uh, 20 degrees here so now if I am going to say control enter in 60 frames it will do a 740 degrees guys so guys uh, I can attach a rotation by clicking anywhere between uh, frame number 1 and uh, frame number 60 moreover uh, I can uh, ensure that it goes counterclockwise or clockwise okay these are uh, two options available for me also I can set the ease now ease is a value that can uh, be changed from a positive 100 to a negative 100 it's like ease in and ease out uh, I'm gonna make it uh, a complete positive 100 and uh, do a control enter and notice the change guys so with the easing guys you can make an object uh, start a little slower finish very fast towards the 60th frame so or uh, you can do the vice versa start a little faster off the blocks real fast but towards the end uh, run out of steam and uh, go out of stamina and slow down like a screeching car so guys uh, I hope I, I, I have uh, actually managed to make a decent tutorial please rate it please comment and if you really uh, found it uh, useful informative do please subscribe I'll see you next time with yet another uh, Adobe Flash or Action Script 3 tutorial or it could even be Dreamweaver uh, and uh, my unsung hero fireworks CS5 I'll see you next time you do take uh, good care of yourself bye bye